Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are Morning, Morning for, for Advantage. Johnny <laughs> B's. Dude. What? Look at this. Mighty beast! This may be the biggest two-player starter set I've ever handled. Well, you know, if you're experienced like me. Right, right, you're into the two-player scene. Oh, yeah, no. Right, uh, so, Blood and Plunder, um, Final Games were kind enough to ship this to us all the way from the United States. What? I got in touch with them and said, like, you know, you've got a new Kickstarter, which has just matured. This stuff is shipping now across yeah. the world. And they sent us a copy for review purposes. I didn't pay a penny for this. It probably cost them a fortune to ship it, to be honest, because it's so heavy. So do you want to tell them what is in this mighty set? Oh my days, it's a big box, but it I can tell you box, mate. that the print on the back is no bigger than normal. So you get a soft cover rule book, which is minus one to hit. That's fast. Uh, you get Edward, the Blackbeard, Teach, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Lieutenant Robert Maynard, 24, 28 millimeter plastic sailor models. Uh, with all the weapons and heads options. You get two ships in this. That's it, the thing. You get two ships in this box. Plastic. Plastic. Not MDF, not resin and metal. Hard plastic ship. I'm a little bit excited about that. Yeah. Uh, two activation decks because it's card driven. Yeah. And you get all the other bits you need. So ship cards. You get a map, which game. is awesome. Turn and gauges. And a stink pod gauge plus stink other pod sundries. Gauge. Yeah. And it's a D10 system. So they throw some of those in. So it's. Um, <laughs> oh, it is. It's a a Blackbeard versus Maynard. This Ultimately, is like when yeah. Blackbeard is finally done for as a pirate. So there's a couple of things about this for people who've already played Blood and Plunder. Is this is rolling on into the 18th century? Okay, so they move forward. Um, they're, they're moving forward. So I don't know whether there's like new books and new rules, but some of the units that you would have seen in play, I think in the earlier one. I'm not a big history of the Caribbean type dude, um, but I believe that that's the situation. Here. Okay, they're kind of stretching. This is more the end of of the age of the, the golden age of piracy is largely over. But it's still happening, mm. um, and this star set reflects that kind of climatic battle that you have, which ends Blackbeard's career, one of the most famous of the pirates. Oosh. So there you go. Uh, so should we do should the we, thing, man? Should we do the thing? Oh, this is such a thing to behold. I mean, it's super generous, of the I've, guys. Over at I mean, me. yeah. So. Thank you. Because this is not not only is it expensive, not it's a big flagship new product. Yes. Um, so you can, it's not one of these like Kickstarters that's sort of dead on release. You can buy, you can get this as a pre-order from Whaling Games, affiliate link for that from us, of course. So it is coming out places. commercially. It's, it's coming out commercially, yeah. If you're in the UK, there have been some issues getting stuff here, but... Oh, there's always I, just, I just got like a waft of a of a musty treasure sort of smell as I lifted oh. the box up, and the air came out. God, I'm okay, not, I'm barely tall enough to see what's in here, mate. Well, it's well packaged. So far, so good. This is what you are confronted with. So we start with a double-sided paper mat. Mate, you can't go wrong with a play mat. I, Straight to the table. If you are going to give a starter set like a, and a play out of the box. Include a paper play mat. You don't want your sloop swimming around on wood grain. No, exactly. <laughs> on the on the MDF here. And this is quite a nice quality. For a paper play mat, it's pretty nice. And it's double-sided. Because this game is about raiding parties. So you can play the game ship to ship. Yes. You can play ship to shore. And you can play onshore fighting. Which is cool. Yeah. So that, yeah. And that's uh, that looks like three by three, right? Yeah. About three by three. Lucky if you get a 4x4 four four in there. Although the box is big enough, maybe a 6x4 yeah. could have been achieved. So then, you are confronted with the IKEA style of instruction. Okay, single sheet. So it's the exploded diagram. Exploded diagram. Tell me how to put these together. El bote. Uh, the, the planned, the battle boat, the planned format for this video is we're going to very briefly talk about the contents because you probably already know that. We're then going to have a go at building some of this stuff so we can tell you what that was like as an experience. 
I think that's if you want to know somebody's plastic ships, yeah, you want to what, know how hard they what's are. It all about, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, so we'll be able to give you a bit more information on these, but I, I do believe that only certain heads and certain things go with certain I've, models. I have heard rumor too. Do not chop it all off the sprue and hope to put it back together later. I mean, do that with your leftovers, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But maybe. don't don't do that. You know, build build the first few and then uh, we get a box each. Let me miss a trick there. Why is there no Jolly Roger on this black box? Oh yeah, there's no art on this. So in this is your sprue look, which we'll talk about more later. I think these Mate, are... they've they've done it so you get your battle boaty and twelve of the and your crew, the pirate crew. You get your boat and your crew in there, and your boat. It's majority is on three sprues, four sprues because you've got accessories. Sweet. All right, so. You can see, th th this is not hundreds of small pieces. I mean, there are hundreds of small pieces, but they're, but they're cannons and yeah. things, and yeah. swivel guns, and bits and bats. Yeah, so you've got your nice mast Whoa. and sail. You can, the gun ports are molded. Uh, the, the ship has got the gun ports blank, so you can mold them open with the, can with the guns run out yep. or not. And then you've got your uh, dual sprues. Now it's worth checking. Uh, do we have the same guys? I'm pretty sure the ships oh, are the same. Somebody's hatch has come off. Are the guys the same? Are the guys the same? Just checking the sprues, see if it says anything. I've got 18th century pirates, it says at the bottom of here. Uh, and mine says two. 18th century pirates as well. So uh, they are as well. The same. They are the same. Yeah, flip it the if other way. It, yeah, carbon yeah, copy. They, they okay, are carbon copy. So you get four sprues. Okay, so you get those. So we'll get you some pictures for you to have a look at, but mostly we're gonna we're gonna build some. We're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. It. See what it's like. Right. Ooh, so these are uh, unit cards are for the actual ships. Oh, uh, the, when you say the actual ships in, in 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 this combat named as well. Yes, so this is so the that's Bermuda. Not the class. This is the, the okay. Balandra. It's not a Bermuda class sloop. No. <laughs> um, and so you can see you can see they have slightly different stats. Sweet. As, as you go through, they're not going to mean very much to us at this no, stage. We have no idea. Uh, um, but this is this looks like you, and this is on uh, glossy paper. So I think if you use a dry white marker. I think these have been designed with that in mind. Yep. Yeah, because so it does look like there's damage boxes and all sorts of cards. I don't know how different they are. That shit data card. Certainly, uh, the Bermuda is faster, uh, but they've both got two swivel guns and six cannon. Oosh! Hero cards for you. I need a hero. And, they, and nice that. They've not so much got art as they've got painted versions of the miniatures. Sweet! So that's that. Uh, you've got how many? 12 D10 in here, because it is a D10 system. Your play decks. You can't play this game without without a deck You of need cards. a deck of cards. You need cards, a play yeah. deck. Um, I think that they each. might... Yeah, yeah. And then, so how different they are. Let's have a look at one. And just see, because I don't think these are just like, you know, 8, 9, 10 jack of hearts sort of thing. No, they do have some proprietary widgets on the card themselves. But I think but there, you like, can play it with an ordinary deck I think of so. cards. But, it, but think you're going to have to look up what the things thing mean. For yeah. a specific thing. Yeah. Well, specifically, it, it, I think it's your, about your activations. So if I... Yeah. Oh, so if you wow. look at like the, se the seven of clubs, it is a seven of clubs. But well, that tells me the inexperienced get two actions and trained and veteran get three each. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is so. Quite the, this important. this is whereas the two of spades is one for inexperienced, one for uh, trained, and two for veterans. So you'd be looking that stuff up all the time if you didn't have these, which is quite nice. These are ev your event cards, which are probably the four jokers. We go in a standard right. deck of cards, um, but because they're backed. You're not going to get my. I have my deck in my hand, and you have your deck in your oh, hand. Huh. Amazing. Yeah, and funny that, isn't it? Yes. Oh, oh. So these are in this baggie. These are all. Yeah, the characters. They're the. That's a character. Or is that two characters? 
it's two characters. There's two chests and two sets of legs there. Yep. It is that. So it's the, that's those two guys. Blackbeard and Maynard. Cardstock. This is Decent. your. This is your ruler. Well, at least you get one. At least you get one, and it's on decent quality cardstock, which is nice. Uh, these things are much more important. Things like your turning gauge, your uh, I think this is your wind wind gauge, and this is your stink pot marker. Stink pot, which is used for some area effect type things, and then these are the status effects that you use in the course of the game. Nice. Okay. Yep. All right. That's those. What else? What else Next you got? Up. Next bit of card is again. I said before, cardstock scenery. If you want an out of the box experience, you provide some cardstock. It's got little islands. It's got so this Apples. is for when you're on the on shore. This is your bushes and so forth. And then on the back, it's double sided. You've got like shoals and so forth uh. to avoid. So again, nice inclusion. Good. Isn't essential, but it gives that sense of completeness, which I think is you know I really like. And then at the very bottom, and it's so nice little recess. You've got your Blood and Ponder soft cover rule book. L book. As I understand it from watching their material, this isn't a new edition, but it is it is slightly different. So they've tidied up a few things here and there. Okay. Um, it's not a it's not a completely brand new. Do you want to take there's an inset tray in there? There might be something underneath yeah, it. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Just want to lift what that out. Like a bonus, like a pirate hat or something. There's nothing at the bottom. No. Oh boo, <laughs> no. Um, so then as we look at the rule book. It is nicely illustrated with full color photographs, well put together. Nice. You know, we are, we are not proposing to go through this rule book in detail, but it contains sections that you would expect to find photographs of the miniatures. I, I like this because, as someone who doesn't know the period, not so much the period as the theater, is I don't know what these guys would necessarily be dressed like. So it helps to see illustrated copies yeah, yeah, for sure. of, of the miniatures. Because what I know of, of uh, what I've seen of uh, the Blood and Plunder guys in their own material is they seem quite into their history. Very much. This is, yeah, this yeah. is you know, this isn't comedy pirates. This is historic pirates doing historic piratey things <laughs> uh, with all the limitations within that. Nice, clean contents page. Looks like the, it's well, it's well put together. Uh, it's a nice list of credits, which you don't see very often. Credits. You know, as people from the Games Workshop world, nobody gets credit. You're just part of the design team. You're just part team. of the design team. This has got a, a, a lovely list of credits in there, right down to play testers and proofreaders. Sweet. You know, big long list of them. Good and on. And it's nice to see people giving credit for those things. Historical overview. I will find that. Oh, and... My favourite thing index. in any new one is, it's not just an index. This is a, an index of several pages long. This is a proper index, mate. Does yes. that make you happy? It does. We'll find out when we play the game whether it actually helps yeah, us find true. the rule yeah, that we yeah. can't <laughs> find. But um, the, the, one of the most frustrating things in Wargaming is not being able to find the rule that you're not sure about. Yeah. Immediately. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it's often a problem because you think a rule might exist, but being certain that it doesn't is very difficult. Because if it doesn't, you're never <laughs> going to find it. So you need to be totally confident that you've looked in the right places. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and that that's often the case. And I, I don't, I don't think that's you know, I don't think that's how this works. You then look at it and say, well, it, it isn't there because it doesn't work like yeah. that. But I need to read the whole book to be sure of it. So love that. I mean, right down to. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six entries, seven entries under actions in the index. You know, Sweet. breaking it down. So actions by fatigue assignment, effects. actions by experience, actions effects of fatigue. A really good index. I'm very pleased with that. And presumably this is for people who've bought the get the rule book not from you start to set. You have copies of the templates. Um, and when it comes to the ships, they've obviously they've not included sales in there, but there are templates you can download as a PDF yeah, on I their heard website. You could do that. Um, scenarios in the back, as I say, a mixture of fighting from ship and fighting from shore. Wow. We're going to have a build of some of these models. Let's and do we'll it. Back to tell you what we think. Yeah.
If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description. But a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.